What's up, everybody? I'm Chase Lee, and welcome back to another movie review. And the movie in question, the one that is being examined today, is Ben is Back. And this one comes from Lionsgate and Roadside Attractions. And this one is written and directed by Peter Hedges. And yes, that is the father of the main star, Lucas Hedges, as well as, you know, Julia Roberts is in this, Courtney B. Vance. Um, that's kind of the main cast, and a bunch of other. You know, lesser known actors and actresses, but you know, I when you see their faces, you're like, yeah, I recognize that person, but you can their names always escape you. So, anyways, this movie tells the story of Ben, uh, who is played by Lucas Hedges. He comes back home when he was not supposed to. He's supposed to be in rehab, and he surprises his whole family. Um, Julie Roberts being his mom, and Courtney B. Vance being his stepdad. Uh, surprises the whole family is like you know i've changed i want to stay and so he stays in this movie takes place over the course of 24 hours and we get to kind of see him interact with his family and something kind of happens um while he is hanging out with his family that leads him and julia roberts off onto this quest to see if he can try to tie up loose ends if you will while he was in rehab because he was kind of not only a a drug addict but he was also a drug dealer so he had a lot of connections within the city and stuff so everyone knew when he came back not just his family so you know when i saw the trailers to this i you know i thought it looked pretty solid for the most part i always like lucas hedges when he uh, pops up and stuff i was blown away with him instantly uh, when i saw uh, manchester by the sea and then of course julia roberts what what is there to say that hasn't been said? Like she is a, a classic uh, actress. She you know she's great for the most part in everything that she does. Like you know when she pops up in something, it always gets me excited to watch it even more because of her involvement. And um, so you know, solid trailer, solid cast, and I had no idea that the writer and director was Lucas's father. That's kind of cool. So how was the movie? It's fine. Um, I think the first half of the movie is actually better than the second half uh, and I'll explain myself in just a second but you know what I think Peter Hedges was trying to uh, accomplish was to show the kind of not only the effects of drug addiction on the specific person that is addicted to drugs but also how it kind of ripples into the family and you know home life school life work life whatever to see how it affects everyone around him in this weird ripple as um, these uh, drug addicts cause in their life. And so there was a lot more to this than I thought because I thought it was just going to be more more about Ben and his, his struggles, and that was there. But I also was admiring the fact that we got to see how it affected Julia Roberts' uh, you know, character as the mother and Courtney B. Vance as the stepdad and, you know, uh, Ben's sister, Ben's step uh, siblings, uh, how it affected, you know, uh, one of his friends that he used to do drugs with and how Julia Roberts and that mom interacts or, you know, uh, you know, how he interacts with the, the drug dealer, other drug dealers around the city. It's just, it was fascinating to kind of see with, you know, the arrival of one person, how it affects everyone in this little community. So you definitely felt like this, uh, um, you know, connection between everyone. As soon as he arrives back, you can definitely tell everyone's got a past and a history with this person. And so I thought Peter Hedges really kind of uh, showed that and really kind of raw sensibility with the first half and showing this drama um and the stress uh, on this family and the, the burden that Ben has on this family, but having Julia Roberts, you know, standing up for him, be like, listen, we can fix him, we can fix him. And Courtney B. Vance, like, he's going, no, 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 we can't fix him. And so there was that real struggle and that real family drama that was uh, at the core of the first half. And that was what was so raw and so genuine in the characters themselves, but not, and also the, uh, the performances. Like, Lucas Hedges does a fantastic job. As this person who is kind of shady, he even calls himself shady um, as a drug addict who is, you know, trying to get better, but he's still trying to go behind his mom's back to get stuff done. It's just, you know, and Julie Roberts is that the type of actress that can have that like warm, motherly type of approach, but also be like that the very stern parent that like gets in your face and like tells you what's up and uh, teaches you some lessons in life. So their dynamic as father and uh, 
father as mother and son was really really great and that's where the kind of genuine um performances come through and the genuine type of uh characters uh, that we see on screen because i can actually see these people interact in you know real life and um you know uh see these you know basically life imitated on screen type of deal and it didn't really feel fake at all and then uh of course uh also what i really liked from peter hedges was um really taking this concept of not seeing um you know drug addiction and recovery over several years but more condensed into one night and how it's almost like this this uh weird you know just bomb that just happens with him coming back and really disrupting the family life and then just seeing how it just explodes throughout it. and i just uh, i thought that was an interesting way to tell because most you know uh drug addiction movies take over several uh years in length um but this one was over the course of a night, so I really appreciate that. So here is where you're probably wondering, like, what? so what's the issue with this movie? It's the second half. So the first half is more of like a family drama, and that's when I really got connected with these characters and really got invested into what was going on. But it flipped into this weird type of thriller movie where um, Ben and his mom have to go on this journey. I'm not going to say what if you want to see the movie. Something happens to the family, and they have to go on this journey to try to correct that mistake. And Ben is like, you know, it's my fault. Like, these people are coming after me, not you guys. And she's like, I know, but I want to help out and stuff. And so I get all that, and I get the mother wanting to do um, anything for her child. But this just seemed like a complete shift in tone, and it really just didn't work for me i i felt like i said more compelled to watch the drama aspect of the movie which it was sprinkled throughout the thriller stuff but i just it didn't really work for me it just it really felt half-baked to me it didn't really feel like a fully realized idea like it felt like it was so strong and then just kind of just slowly went down a little bit even though the performances and the writing was there in terms of dialogue but in terms of story structure and plot structure just it kind of lost me. And there was also one thing that kind of turned me off about Julia Roberts's character. She like, I get that she's like desperate, but she like offers drugs to like one of Ben's friends at one point in the movie. And it's like, eh, so she can get information on where her son's at. It's just, I don't know. It just felt really weird. And uh, I don't know. Even if like a parent was in desperation, I don't think you would be encouraging other acts. I don't know. It's just, that felt weird. And then the end of the movie just kind of just ends. And I get what Peter was doing. Peter Hedges, like he was creating this cycle, this loop within their drug addict's life and their family's lives. I get it's a loop and it's a never ending loop. But the way it ends and the way it begins, it's just like, so there was really no point to all that. It's just going to keep going and the struggle is going to be there. And I get the struggle with a parent trying to help their their kid with drug addiction. I, I get that. But as a movie, it just, I don't know, it just seemed kind of unfinished. Like it was just a, a ending that happened and the credits rolled. And you're like, I feel like there was more there. Like something was missing from the script and how it was supposed to end. Maybe that was the whole point. I have no clue, but I didn't really care for the ending at all. So... Guys, this is one of those things to where the performances are really great. The bond between Julia Roberts and Lucas Hedges was pretty uh, spot on. You know, the first half of the movie I really enjoyed, and I was just like, okay, this is going to be a really interesting drama, and then it delves into this weird thriller, and I just I, I didn't really care for it by the end. So I'm kind of half and half on this one. I'm literally split down the middle as the movie was. Uh, so I'm going to give Ben is back a C. So what did you guys think of uh, Ben is back or have you even heard of it? Comment in the places right below my face and let me know. And uh, that'll do it for this review, guys. I'm Chase Lee and uh, I'll see you guys for whatever I review next. I will. Goodbye. <laughs> I didn't know how to end it. Just like the movie.